What's going on YouTube? Dre again with Hartman Adventures. They out here for another adventure, you know. Me and the family there, you know. So that's Ash in the car and Ellie. So we go out on a little adventure today but never get to shoot the intro so just I do a little intro right now. So I there hope well right now, stop our one jelly man. Hey look bossy. Big up. I stop and get some a cold jelly cause jelly shoot today when you're hot and then the rain come down and catch you and wake me up. So this is a little thing to just go and relax you know. So yes guys, so remember to like, comment, share and subscribe guys. And for the month of June which was me and Ash birthday guys, you guys did me proud. The objective or the goal for that month was to reach 250 subscribers. We have surpassed that. So the goal for this month is to get to 500 subscribers guys. So just remember to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and remember to share the video with your friends. So I'm not going to ramble on anymore. I'll go and drink my jelly. So you guys just go on. So you guys just go on watch the video that we did today and we get back with you hot man adventures at them man Yeah. Alright guys, we're locked onto something. Let's see what Mr. Hartman himself caught. Feel stingray ish. I don't know, let's see. Oh, okay. oh, look at that, guys. Can you see that? So, yeah, first one for the morning or afternoon, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> yeah. Any daddy caught a fish? Fish on again. Fish on again, guys. Alright, guys, so you have another one. Ellie, back up. Hey, hey, hey. Move from the edge, Ellie. Now feel too big still, but. Oh, it's a snapper. Nice snapper. You dropped the bell. Ooh. You dropped the bell. Mangrove snapper. Nice mangrove. You want to hold him? 
Yeah. All right, go on. Pull them tight. Come. Pull them like this. Come. All right, put one hand under here. No, you have to hold them tight, Eric. Hold them like that. All right, put him in the bucket. There she go now. <laughs> Not bad, dear. Ellie, Ellie, you have to step away from mommy's rod. How oh, fish like this? Me did put on it. Eh? Mm. Mm. It's like when bait not there, they ain't eat. So guys, I've been coming, I've been coming to Chukka for a little bit now, and I've always walked. Well, there's pretty much just one road for walk come in here, and all the time I come here, I've never noticed that there's an almond tree right at the roadside to come in. I'm gonna show you something, guys. So. I'm going to walk. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you something guys. One thing, when they're close to the sea and you see almond tree and there are rocks there, there's no question that you can find soldier crab. And I'm just walking to the tree now because I actually just just realized that the tree is there. So I have not gone over to the tree as yet. I'm just walking to it now. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to find soldier crabs. So let's wait and see. So I'm right at the tree now. That's the almond tree right here. And it's the first time that I'm noticing that there's an almond tree here. So I am a hundred percent sure I'm going to find soldier crabs. So that's why I see I have this bottle right here. Cut off the I didn't really cut it entirely off, I cut it halfway. Oh almost fell. <laughs> but just watch guys. 100% sure me I'm going to find soldier crab. Ah, look, 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 look guys, look. Anywhere you go, close to seaside, and you see almond tree, you're going to find soldier crabs. Look. Look at that one. Look at this guys. And that's just the first branch that I moved. And how do I know that soldier crabs would be here? Because when the ripe almond drop off the tree, the soldier crabs feed on the ripe almond. So I was pretty sure that I would find soldier crabs here. 
have some red ants some red ants in here as well see how them red ants are big look at the size of them red ants Woo! so i was pretty sure that i would find soldier crabs here guys so whenever you look bait whenever you go see and you run out of bait and you feel like you want to go hunt some soldier crab just try to find a whoa look at this jeez um. look at this one crawling away come whoa look at this i'm just taking the big ones look at this guys jeez look at that look how much of them under here where are you crawling into? some biting ants under here guys whoa and just like that the pond full already look at this one again guys you can't go wrong anywhere you go anywhere you go close to the seaside and you see almond tree you can't go wrong you, you are going to find you 100% are going to find soldier crabs you just need to start stir up some some bush that one is big you just need to start stir up the bush guys whoa i'm having a line went so ash I moved with the camera Woo. and my rod went so Ash is catching it so let's see what she has huh it's gone Whoa! Yeah, yeah. You take it up too quick, man. It make one hard throw. Yeah, you never swallow it yet. Yeah, make you run. Throw Whoa! Back. Look! Whoa! Me just move one branch. That's a lot. So anytime you go anytime you go near to seaside and you see almond tree, soldier crab always did it. Make you run next time. Hard yank, you know? Yeah, man, make you run next Sonny time. Bella, set your drag. Give me this. I'm going to go back to search, you know, because I know some more soldier crab out there. Give me this. The bell. Bell. <coughs> yeah all part of the adventure guys so that was a bit adventurous just now so i went to the car just now to get something from the car and i realized that the almond tree is on the side of the road so i come i get a bottle and i went up there and look in a space of like two minutes I full this bottle but guess what i'm going back to look again because where i live I don't find soldier crabs that easily so I'm walking back to the almond tree to see if I can get some more soldier crabs 
because as I was saying I don't find soja crabs very easily at my home so I'm going back to see if I can get some more so I can probably go look some permit so so this is where I found the mother load so guys the only thing you need to do is just move a couple of the leaves or if you see stones just turn over the stones if you see stones guys just turn over the stones and you will find them or if you see board and any, any little thing like that or the trash just move the trash sometimes and you find them like this can you see this Woo! Mm -mm. no 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 you see that guys look no man at first miss so much soldier crab one place so like i was telling you before guys crabs feed they feed on the soldier and the crabs feed on the the ripe almond so it's almost a sure thing it's almost a sure thing that you're going to find soldier crabs almost a sure thing as long as you see the as long as you see the almond tree all you need to do is just move some of the trash then look at that one see him look at the size of him and they love the crabs love to be under logs like dry if you see a dry log or so them love underneath them stuff there and this is the second bottle filled already and that's just one thing that I moved and and this is just one almond tree now guys and there are two more almond trees over that side I'm not going to search them, I'm just going to stick to this one and just take up as much as I can find but right now the second but right now this second bottle is filled and I don't have anything else to put them in so I don't know if I can find anything where I can put them in oh found somebody garbage box so I'll be taking this up and I'll be bringing home this garbage box or this lunch box filled with soja crab there are so much of them down here guys it's unbelievable the first I see so much soja crabs one place And they are very big there are some more under here but those ones are small so I'm not going to take up those ones all right and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put back this then put back this piece of fiberglass where I found it that means the small ones can live under there and get big two pieces of fiberglass just then put them back same place where I found them
see that guys all you need to do is just move the trash just move hey them pinch hot you know guys you have to be careful like that you know them pinch hot so all you have to do guys is just take this a stick and move move some grass and trash I saw a jack crab man look man Huh? <laughs> yeah. I saw some soldier sort of crab me I look me Jenna. Guys, if you, if you notice with these, you see that? All of the skin, all of the skin gone off of these. Another big one. Hands down, hands down, nice and easy. Hey, my lady up there, hands down. Hello? Yeah. Hands down, let's get the heart to go. Good. All right, down. this is a perfect example, guys. So, if you notice this ripe almond, a part of it is eaten off. That's because the crabs have been feeding on the ripe almond, so. If you want to find bait, or if you want to find soja crab specifically, all you have to do is just find an almond tree. Because soja crab are going underneath it. See that guys? This is a lunch box full. I'm only take up the bigger ones. This box is full. And that's the second bottle. So I have a whole heap of soldier crab. Woo. Sweating like a pig guys. I tell you. I left Ellie and Ash at the jetty. They are still they are still fishing down there. So I think I won't go back down there. I think I have enough right now. Um I think I have enough right now. I'm not going to look anymore. But that's a little quick tip for today guys for hunting soja crab that's a quick tip for today hey where are crawl out ago watch him watch him watch him crawl him i try crawl out go back go on go back see it guys i only move those two branches so I only move those two branches right there and the piece of fiberglass over there and I found all of the soldier crabs that I found and there are some more almond trees further over that side there are some more almond trees over there but I'm not going to search for any more right now I think I have enough for now so that's it and then it's starting to rain as well so I think I'm going to start moving my bag and so forth under the tree so that them can at least not get too wet so stay tuned guys stay tuned look at that guys some more soldier crab my catch
A lot of soldier crab. Hey, what you doing there? <laughs> Say hi. Say hi to the camera. Say hi. Hi. You fishing? Huh? You catch any fishes yet? No. No? What happened to your rod? It's not ready yet. It's not ready as yet? No. You remember the one that took it under the rock? Yeah. And it broke off? Yeah. So we're going to have to try to catch another one, right? Mm -hmm. Ellie is safe from the rain. Mommy getting wet up, but Ellie is safe. Okay, okay. Your foot, foot is fine. Ah, ah. Where is the ants? Yeah, there was one crawling on there. Okay. <laughs> it's raining, guys. Ellie, the camera. Come on, you can do it. You just need to push your foot a little bit more down in the shoes. Just a smidge. Go on, push your foot down in the shoes. You can do it. This happened when you your boat for a fishing adventure and rain start fall. <laughs> All we have to poop up on the whole little <laughs> I look at things so really carried over <laughs> like Wait. Alright guys, so we're a little ways from the car. Yeah. We're a little ways from the car right now. The rods are out in the water. We never start packing. Rain decided. But guess what? Rain decided to fall and hard action so. We have to just scoop up on now with a umbrella and go and wait it out. But I say, oh, we are hot man for me. So, right, Ellie? Uh -huh. Yes? Yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, when, whenever I go out to fishing or anything like that, I usually carry a, a garbage bag. So, whenever I'm fishing in an area, I try to pick up whatever garbage I can pick up. And if I see like nets, right, that piece right there, if I see nets like that, I can put it in the bag or I try to make a fire and burn the nets but it's kind of raining today so I can't go burn that net but I 
going to try pick up as much as I can pick up because guys they to tell you the truth the plastic now help the environment when this get in our water it just cause problem for the ecosystem so usually when I, whenever I go out and I see plastic and them stuff I either try to pick up all of it or some of it and I burn some so let's see Then you have enough water there man. Okay. Sweet. See your face? Yeah. Jelly as sweet is a shame guys, I tell you the truth. And you full of water about five different times I have to take a break. Full of water. So guys, anytime you're passing, hope we'll just stop by jelly man and support, you see me? Gotcha. If you want to get your foot wet, seaside there, right there. So look, not even have on shoes, guys. Seaside there, right there. So nice, clean, pretty water. Rain just done fall now, guys. So you might see it look a little bit brown, but that's because the rain just done fall but guess what you can step and put your foot in the water man nice area nice nice area this so massive thank you to you guys for getting me to 250 subscribers for June you guys did it you actually went past 250 subscribers so the next goal now guys is to 500 and i'm hoping that by the end of this month i can get to 500 subscribers so you guys just help me out share the video like the content let's see if we can get it there you only 250 only 200 and a little bit more i don't know need to subscribe to get us to 500 subscribers so as junior lifestyle would i say just do the right thing guys do the right thing big up yourself junior lifestyle three three bills are up yeah, right. why if you don't talk why if you say five bills back? The jelly is sweet, isn't it? And it's like sweet. John was star. And it, 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 the cup big. Yep. Yeah, man, respect. You want a piece? <laughs> really? <laughs> you can't take all of my jelly. No, me give me back piece of it. You can't take all of the jelly. Oh, hold, hold on, no. You eat one already? <laughs> no, Ellie and I ate one. Well, make me, a, make me and Ellie eat one now.
No, oh, give me that piece. I'm gonna give it to you, Tom. Oh. It's out there. Think I like one you give me in here. You're general, you know? Jeez Louise! Really? Yes. <laughs> Why you're general, me out of my jelly? Just like Wi-Fi. What's going on here, man? Here, they mess up me up. Here, they mess up me up, guys. What do you say? Liberty come to carelessness. Liberty hmm? come to love of life. Liberty, yeah, 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 she said it a while ago. Liberty come to love of life. Careful. I tell you no. Yes, guys, so this is Mr. Hartman himself. Mr. Hart himself in his natural habitat. Okay, sweet. Yep. Hmm? Mine was sweeter. I ain't gonna give me none. It's the heart in his natural habitat, guys. So yes guys, this is our summer we don't want to get to see when time we touch road because usually when we stop and if I get anything I can't bother to take out the camera so usually whenever I go out and we are chill out after we done fishing or anything like that I just chill out and don't bother to take out the camera but because we never do no intro today decide so we are going to take out the camera and make you guys get to see some of what we do when we are road tripping as a family so this is just some of what we do sometimes maybe I should start recording them maybe I should start recording it when we stop and stuff like that so if you guys like this type of video just leave it in the comment section let me know but otherwise me just I go just stop doing my thing and gone again because usually I'm gonna take out the camera <laughs> Alright, so I promised a subscriber that I would answer a question in my next video. So this question is from Ranjay. Ranjay, this quest this answer is for your question. So Ranjay asked could you give parish and location when doing videos? Alright, Landry. I'm from Montego Bay. So, most of the times when I'm doing a video, the video would be in and around Montego Bay. Now, sometimes when I'm shooting the video, I don't remember to say the location. Honestly. And sometimes I'm just not thinking about it. So, I just don't remember to share what location I'm shooting at in this video today I was at Choka that's Sandy Bay and sometimes I'm not in Montego Bay sometimes I go out of parish now there are times when I don't want to share the name of the place that I am at reason is sometimes if somebody bring me to a spot and say yo this is my spot when I go fishing I'm not going to reveal that spot because not I don't want I don't want I don't want to give away somebody location that they took me to but for me if I find a location if I scout a location and find it I will tell you where it is I don't have a problem with that how do I find most of my locations I would go on Google Maps before I go out I would scout the location depending on what type of fishing I'm doing so if I want to go permit fishing I look for rocky areas reefy areas if I want to do like snap and so forth I try to find a jetty or some nice open water it just depends sometimes I'm just driving past a location and 
I see a road turn off, I'm just turn off on the road and find water and start fishing. Sometimes I just a drive on the road and I just pick my phone up, go up on Google Maps, see where the closest turn off is, and I turn off and just try to find somewhere for fishing. So sometimes if you want to find locations to go fishing, just use Google Maps. Try to find the roads that turn off as long as you're going to somewhere that you feel safe and comfortable then give it a try so that question or that answer was for Randre um, there are a couple other questions a couple of people asked me if they can come fishing with me I don't have a problem going fishing with anybody um, but there are times when we're just going out as a family and we just want to spend time as a family um, if I tell you to if you ask me if, I, if you can go fishing with me and I tell you yes just send me a message on Instagram guys please send me a message on Instagram because sometimes once I reply to your comment on on YouTube I don't remember or sometimes I don't have any other way of getting in contact with you to organize a fishing trip so if I tell you to message me on Instagram or message me on Facebook just send me a message and we can dialogue and plan a fishing trip so if you want to go fishing with me one at a time or with us Uncle Bertie, myself, Ash, everybody if you want to go fishing with us one at a time just send me a message on Instagram Hartman Adventures and on Facebook Hartman Adventures just the same so that's pretty much it for this video guys thanks again for tuning in hope you really enjoyed this one remember guys to like the video share and subscribe and remember guys that the goal for july is to get to 500 subscribers and hope you guys can help me to get there so big up on yourself we reached our goal for 250 for June so for, Ju for July we want to get to 500 so guys just remember to like, comment, share, subscribe and invite your friends to subscribe if you really enjoy the videos guys let me know I really appreciate all your comments I read all of your comments and your comments are very encouraging so big up on yourself again Dre with Hartman Adventures and we out here again Oh,